हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज महाजन आई एम एन इंटरवेंशनल कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट बेस्ड इन जम्मू टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सर्टेन लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स इन हाइपरटेंशन हाइपरटेंशन मींस हाई बीपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू गिव एन इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द हाइपरटेंशन एज पर डब्ल्यू एच ओ नियरली सिक्सटी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ टोटल डेथ इन इंडिया आर ड्यू टू नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेज ऑफ विच ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट आर एट्रीब्यूटेड टू कार्डियोवेस्कुलर डिजीज विच एफेक्ट ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पीपल इन दर्टी टू सिक्सटी नाइन एज ग्रुप रेज ब्लड प्रेशर ड्यू टू लो अवेयर अबाउट हाइपर टेंशन लैक ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट केयर थ्रू प्राइमरी केयर एंड पुअर फॉलो अप इन इंडिया द प्रेवलेंस हैज ऑल्सो गॉन अप ओवर थर्टी ईयर्स टू थर्टी एट परसेंट इन मेल्स एंड थर्टी टू परसेंट इन फीमेल्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली this was as per who despite that nearly half of the people or you can say 51% of the males and 41% of females with hypertension they were unaware of the condition additionally over 62% of the males and more than 53% of the females living with hypertension did not get proper treatment medication was used to control the blood pressure in less than 1 in 5 males and less than 1 in 4 females with hypertension worldwide international society of hypertension has released the ish 2020 global hypertension practice guidelines the inclusion of optimal and essential treatment paradigms attempts to address the issue that in resource poor settings optimal care refers to evidence based standard of care and whereas essential standards refer to minimum standards of care to allow specification of essential standards of care for low resource settings the aha acc has released a scientific statement in 2021 offering new guidance for the management of stage 1 hypertension among patients with low atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk among low risk adults that means no atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or less than 10% of 10 year cardiovascular disease risk with stage 1 hypertension that means where the bp is 130 to 139 systolic and 80 to 89 diastolic management starts with non pharmacologic therapies however if the blood pressure remains uncontrolled at 3 to 6 months then we have to consider starting pharmacologic therapies acute respiratory distress syndrome is a potentially fatal condition involving lung damage and experts often associate it with severe covid-19 a recent study which appears in the journal of the american college of cardiology reports that metoprolol can reduce the lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with covid-19 induced ards lowering systolic blood pressure targets down to the 110 to less than 130 mm mercury range substantially reduce the cardiovascular adverse events in the step randomized trial affirming the sprint findings for an older chinese population among some 8500 patients aged 60 to 80 in china the intensive target trimmed 26% of the composite cardiovascular risk findings from now a second major trial supporting a lower target could unite the guidelines which even among us professional societies range from thresholds of 130 to 150 mm of mercury With regard to prognostic value of ambulatory BP monitoring and nighttime blood pressure, the 2018 European guidelines on the management of arterial hypertension recommend that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be dependent on office BP measurements but also on out of office measurements such as ABPM or HBPM means home blood pressure monitoring. 24 hour and nighttime bp measurements were associated with greater risks of mortality and a composite of cardiovascular outcome thus they may be considered as the most relevant measurements for estimating cardiovascular risk for every 20 by 10 mm mercury increment of bp measured at night the risk of mortality increased by 23% and the risk of cardiovascular events by 36% Most patients with hypertension require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal BP control. The 2018 European guidelines equally recommend five classes of antihypertensive drugs considering high non-adherence treatment the importance of combination therapy is particularly highlighted to improve the adherence to therapy and BP control.
Therefore, the 2018 European guidelines recommend, especially in the context of lower BP targets, to start antihypertensive therapy with an initial dual fixed dose combination of ACE inhibitors or ARBs along with CCBs or diuretics. Since early July 2018, products containing Velsartan have been recalled worldwide. The reason is the detection of a known carcinogen, namely NDMA, which can be found in Candisartan, Irbisartan, Losartan, Olmisartan, and Velsartan. ND NDMA has been classified by the WHO International Agency for Research on Cancer to be carcinogenic in humans. If 100,000 patients would have received NDMA contaminated Velsartan from Zhejiang, Huhai, which is the manufacturing site where the highest levels of contaminants were found, every day for six years in the highest dose, it could result in 22 additional liver cancers over the lifetime of these patients. The presence of this carcinogen in these drugs could lead to eight additional cancer cases in 100,000 patients if they had taken the highest daily dose over four years. So, well, certain recall was accompanied by a significant increase in the rate of emergency department visits of almost 6%. The Higia study represents the largest study that tested nighttime antihypertensive treatment. In this trial, chronotherapy was associated with a significant reduction in endpoints, including death. The Higia chronotherapy trial tested whether nighttime therapy in comparison to usual upon awakening hypertension therapy exerts a favorable cardiovascular risk reduction. The largest study in included a total of 19,084 hypertensive patients. During an average follow-up of 6.3 years, 1,752 participants experienced the primary CV outcome. An ambulatory BP measurement was performed for 48 hours to collect data on how BP differed during sleep and the relative risk reduction for cardiovascular events was significantly improved for nighttime treatment when compared with awakening treatment. Thank you so much.